Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff with Pet Health Network. You know, how many times have you been driving along the road and you pass by a car and you see this gorgeous dog head staring out the window at you? Or you pull up behind a car and you see the dogs running in the back seat. You know, it's really cute, isn't it? But really could be dangerous on many, many levels. First of all, when you see that dog hanging his head out the window, they are at risk for something called exposure keratitis. And that's because they're not wearing glasses, though they do have doggy goggles available. Um, but the, 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 the dust, the particles in the air are hitting these this dog's face at 40, 50, 60 miles an hour. That can cause some irritation to the cornea and causes an inflammation and an irritation. And obviously, you might need to be treated. But a bigger problem is that if the driver, for any reason, has to come to a quick stop, if the dog is running around freely in a car, it is definitely at risk for injury. Or if you ever have a cat in the car with you or a small dog and they kind of run for cover and they'll go down to the floor and they can get sort of tangled up into your feet. And then if you have to brake suddenly, you're going to have a problem. Uh, in many states, it's now law that if you're going to have a pet in the car with you, they must be restrained. And restraints can come in many different ways. Um, you can have them in a carrier. For example, a small dog or a cat would be a good idea to put them in a carrier. For large dogs, they have these really cool harnesses that will attach to your seat belts in the car. So they can be sitting next to you on the front seat or in the back, but they are latched into a seat belt. And that way, if you have to stop suddenly, if you have to take a sharp turn, uh, or if anything happens, or heaven forbid you're hit, uh, they are going to be secure as well. So remember, though it's adorable to have that dog on your lap when you're driving, for their safety and for your own, make sure that they are confined or strapped nice and snug into a seatbelt. Reporting for Pet Health Network, I'm Dr. Jeff.